What's the difference between promise.all in JavaScript and promise.all settled? In a recent video, I explained that we can use promise.all to execute multiple promises in parallel instead of one after another. But what happens if one of these promises fails? To test this, let's just add this fail argument to our delay function. And we say if fail is true, then we just want to throw an error. And then let's pass failed true to the third call. And then let's execute this. As we can see in the console, we are getting an error and we actually don't get any values of our five promises back. They all failed together, so to speak. But if we still want these other values, even even if one or a few of these promises fail, we can use promise.all settled. So now when we execute this again, we get a different result. Now we actually get an array of results back, which have a little bit of a different structure. In each of these results, we have a status, which is either fulfilled or rejected. And then we get the actual return value of the promise as the second value here. So now only one of these promises failed and the other ones succeeded, and we get four values back instead of five. Just keep in mind that to get the actual value out of the result, you have to access this .value field. Now if you use promise.all or promise.all settled, depends on your exact use case.